Hey, superstars, you know what I like to do when I have way too many video responses to make? Bend over and I'll show you. Totally kidding. That wasn't very nice, was it? Uh, you know what I like to do on a lazy Sunday afternoon like today? I like to make video responses. And that was from Angini, obviously. One down, a bunch to go. Uh, we're going to try to set a world record for video responses today. So let's do this. Check. What? I got what? I got this? I can do it. This is my ballot for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And honestly, I'm kind of scared to do this because there's so much drama and nonsense surrounding this thing. And it is so very difficult to choose just 10. Um, and I don't want anybody mad at me, so I'm going to cop out and have Alexa make the picks for me. Um, if you're angry that you weren't on the list, remember that it was all Alexa, not me. She's not very nice, and you totally deserve to be in the hall. So, Alexa, who should be in the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame? Not you, dummy. I know that. I'm glad we're on the same page. What are your parameters, dummy? Could you stop with the name calling, please? I call it like I see it, dummy. All right, I want to look past numbers. First and foremost, they have to be inspiring somehow and genuine. Uh, I'd like them to be people that really contribute to the community and are very active. Um, I like channels that really put forth some effort into their videos. And funny is good. So channels that are better than yours, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh, and I think we need more TTM channels in the hall, so that would be a plus. Okay. Dummy. Computing. Computing. In alphabetical order. Four leaf cards. Back to the cardboard. Caleb's cards TTM autographs. Chris cards. Eddie's baseball autographs. G's Mikey. It come if a egg. Michael Myers. The ticket leprechaun. TTM autograph. And there's one more. Not really a Hall of Fame vote. Um, but last year, Chase and Inc. nominated me as Rookie of the Year, which isn't really a thing. But I was floored. Um, he must have awful taste. Anyway, it meant a lot to me, and I wanted to nominate a Rookie of the Year this year myself, and that person would be... Flying Dutchman Cards. <laughs> Will you let me do this? Sorry, dummy. My Rookie of the Year is Flying Dutchman Cards. Andy's been uh, working really hard, and he's doing a great job. His editing and content are top-notch, and I think he deserves some love, so go check him out. Two down, three to go. Um, Adam716 did a beginning of the hockey season contest, and I missed the deadline actually, but that's all right. He wanted to know what our, what TTM channels we watched when we first started out. Uh, my first TTM video was in June of 2019, and like everybody else, TTM Autograph was one of the first channels that I watched. Uh, Troy's been around forever, and he knows how to make great TTM videos. Um, then I started watching Chris Cards. His dry wit is right up my alley. Uh, his Through the Mail Monday videos have gotten so much better. Not that they were bad before, but I've noticed he's really improved his uh, quality of his videos since his early days. And uh, lastly, Michael Myers. Michael is just an awesome, awesome guy. At first, I was like, who's this stuffy old guy who wears a suit in all of his videos? But uh, he's super friendly and super funny. And I'm very glad to have gotten to know all three of these guys. They're really supportive, and they've all been great mentors for me. Baseball Card Illustrated is celebrating 250 subs with a fun contest. They wanted to know about the first baseball card that we can remember having. Uh, mine's not really a card, though. It was this 1988 Panini sticker book that I carried around with me everywhere I went. Uh, I was buying stickers for this thing like well before I bought a, even bought a baseball card. Uh, Grandma would buy me a new pack every time we went to Hills. Uh, but this one was the one that got it started for me. I remember having it on my desk in the sixth grade and my teacher was like, hey, Don Mattingly. And I was like, whoa, this guy is super smart. Um, I was surprised that I still had it, actually, but uh, I was able to dig it out. Um, I never did quite finish it, but ooh, look at this. Uh, Sandberg's mustache. That is that is really cool. Um, anyway, congrats on 250, Bronco and Kevin. 
All right, last one. Uh, Sean Tiford is having a 600 subscriber giveaway. This one's pretty neat. Actually, he wants us to have a giveaway to enter his contest. So I have two cards and a mystery prize that I'll give away. If you want a chance to win this Derek Jeter rookie card, leave a comment telling me what baseball-related item was on top of Jerry Seinfeld's fridge in season one of Seinfeld. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you want a chance to win this 1968 Fergie Jenkins card, tell me what breed of dog did Walter claim to be watching for his ex-wife Cynthia in The Big Lebowski? If you will it, it is no dream. And if you want a chance to win the uh, big exciting mystery prize, meaning I have no idea what it's going to be yet. Um, and if you watch Sean's channel, you should know the answer to this one. Uh, which Jewish ball player? Uh, served as a spy for the U.S. government during World War II. Um, I will leave the comments private for now, so you have until February 2nd, and we will spin for the winners on February 3rd. Uh, easy peasy, and I am all video-responsed out, so we will see you on Wednesday.